know, one thing we've been doing more and more is trying to incorporate predictive analytics concepts into the research work that we do. And, and a critical place where that has evolved over the past years is in looking at experience study information. So as we gather and aggregate data from the industry and look at different mortality, morbidity rates, and instead of just publishing tables, um, the use of predictive analytics to show what the cause and effect among the different variables that cause the ultimate contingency is really important. So, for example, we recently took group long-term disability experience, looked at uh, what are called recovery rates. If you become disabled, what's the probability of recovering to go back to be an active part of the population? But then also mortality rates from group, group long-term disability as well and said, let's do some predictive analysis to see what variables really are drivers. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, you can create generalized linear uh, regression models across many variables and see what the impact is there, what, what variables are driving it. But we found in this case that a tree model, which has different branches for cause and effect that stem off of it, was really a really good indicator of what variables were important and how you could predict what some of those recovery rates and mortality rates would be. So I'd encourage people to go look at that report on the website and see this, this really interesting use of a different type of predictive analytics as it applies to experience studies. We've been doing more and more of that over time. I really would envision that as more experience studies come out, that providing the data and enabling both the research committee and then the, the general member or stakeholder to look at that information in a predictive analysis model is really the wave of the future. People can also go back and look at different essays that we've asked members to provide on the use of predictive analytics in their practice areas. We've highlighted a lot of them in some videos that we've recorded. So it's a really good way to describe how this, this growing concept that actuaries have a strong skill set in in predictive analytics can be applied to the type of research work that we do. Mm -hmm.